connections. Uh, the book called it Reducing Before You Multiply. I'm pretty sure we have this one. And here is just the example here. Um, let's say you have three dollars, well, yeah, three dollars over one hour times eight hours. Three dollars over one hour times eight hours over one. It's kind of time in your mathematical world that you start doing things that have labels and stuff like that, and a little bit more complex fractions. The book wants you to understand that, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to being able to cross cancel uh, numbers, which in this one we can't, you also need to cross cancel labels. If you see a label of hours down here, you should cross it off with a label of hours up there if they're the same. Okay. Really what this is, is if you make $3 per hour and you work for 8 hours, how much will you get paid? $24. If you don't get paid $24 hours, hours, or whatever it is, because the labels cross off and there are no more labels of hours, it's just $24. Or another example might be 160 kilometers uh, in two hours times 10 hours over one. You can cross cancel both numbers here because two goes into two ones and ten five times. And you can also cross cancel these two labels hours and hours. So what are you left with when you're finished? Well, the label you're left with is kilometers. And if you multiply 5 times 160, you end up with what? 800, I think. 800 kilometers. And that would, if I asked you to write a story problem that dealt with that, you'd say, well, if Bob traveled on his snowmobile 160 kilometers in two hours, how far did he go? Would he go in 10 hours? It would be the same thing, 160 over 2, which is the same thing as 80 kilometers per hour, right? One times five, which is well, that's not right. Is it 80? 80 times ten. I'm sorry. We need that 800. Another one you say. Yeah. Um, oh, here's one right out of the book. Multiply 18 teachers by 39 students per teacher. This is right out of the book. Write this problem down. Multiply. Multiply. 18 teachers by 29 students per teacher. What does that look like? Well, you make this a fraction. 18 teachers, you make it a fraction by putting it over 1. 18 teachers, I can spell it, over 1. What am I multiplying that by? 29 students. What did I say the word per means? It's a fraction line. 29 students per teacher. Per every teacher. So what's going to cross off? All teachers do. My label left is students, and then I just multiply 18 times 29, which it happens to be what? 522 students. In other words, if there are if every teacher teaches 18 students, 18 teachers, oh, you know, if every 29 students for every teacher, and you have 18 teachers, how many students will you have? 522. Isn't that exciting? Um,
So here we go. Write down one more problem. How far will the train travel? How far will the train travel in six hours? at 45 miles per hour. Okay, now, most of you are saying, well, I just multiply 6 times 45 at this. Yes, but I need to see this. You need to take this fraction, 45 miles per hour, 45 miles per hour and multiply it by six hours. And then what crosses off? What crosses off? Hours and hours. Same way on top, same way on bottom. You don't cross off the front and top together, but one on top, one on bottom. And what's my label that's left? Miles. And what is six times forty-five? 270 miles. So when they give you those story problems, you need to write those fractions down and just enjoy it there. Perfect. Four